Hi, I'm Alex from Brinson Marine, and today I'm going to teach you the steps on your annual maintenance and how to prepare your outboard motor for storage. First, we're going to add some fuel stabilizer, Mercury Quick Store. We're going to add one ounce for five gallons into the fuel tank, and we're going to let it run for several minutes to get that treated fuel all the way through the system, which I've already done. Now, we're going to drain our engine oil and our gear lube. This motor, the drain plug is right here. We're just going to loosen it up till the oil starts to flow. We're not going to remove it all the way. So our engine oil is flowing. Now we're going to get the gear lube draining. And on this particular outboard, the 2019 Mercury 115, the gear lube drain is behind the prop. So we're going to remove the prop by bending those tabs out. I'm loosening this nut. With the proper move, this is a good opportunity for us to look for any fishing line or any debris in here that could damage the seal and cause the lower unit to leak. So this one, there's a screw right underneath here. It's a 10 millimeter bolt or a flathead. We're going to remove that. And then we're going to remove the other one over here on this side. And then our gear lube is going to start draining. One thing we need to keep an eye on is that both of these little drain plug seals come out with it. I still have one stuck in there, so we're going to have to remove that before we replace this and install it again so we don't have two seals on it because then it will leak. With the gear lube draining, this is a good time for us to look for any metal filings or water in there. If that gear lube looks milky or glittery like metal in it, then that indicates damage to the lower unit and that needs to be addressed. So we're going to make sure we get this seal out. And just like that. Now we're going to replace these before we reinstall them. Now while we have our engine oil and gear lube draining, we can replace the fuel filter. This style is a quick connect inline fuel filter. And to disconnect, you just press that red button and pull it out and to reconnect, just push it right in. When reinstalling this fuel filter, we need to make sure that that arrow is pointing with the direction of the fuel and make sure that we have a click in both ends. And just like that, the fuel filter is changed. While our engine oil is draining, we can get our engine oil set up. And on your outboard, it's going to tell you on a sticker somewhere the quantity of oil and the type needed. This one calls for 10W30 and five and a half quarts of it. So now that our engine oil is done draining, we can tighten this drain plug back up. And now we can replace the oil filter. To prevent from making a mess, it's best to fill a bunch of rags underneath there. And we're gonna unscrew the filter. We're going to let that drain out. We're going to pull this plug on the catch tray and let all that drain out so we can clean it up. So with that cleaned up, we're going to reinstall that plug and get our rag out of the way and install our new filter. With our new filter, we're going to make sure there's some oil on this O-ring so it doesn't get stuck on there next year. And we're going to thread it on there until it gets snug, and then we're gonna go another quarter turn or so. Doesn't need to be too tight. And that's good. Now, with our drain plug tight and our oil filter on, we're ready to refill it with oil.
Now that our gear lube is done draining, we can refill it. I'm gonna make sure we have two new O-rings on both of these drain plugs. And we're gonna fill from the bottom. And we're gonna fill until it comes out this hole up here. So once that starts flowing out the top, we know that it's full and we can reinstall this drain plug over here. And we're going to make sure that that's nice and tight and we're going to reinstall the bottom one. Now we're going to make sure that they're both tight. And now it's time to reinstall the prop, but first we're going to put some grease on these splines. And now we can reinstall the prop. We're going to install it with this brass spacer the shouldered edge out prop and we're gonna make sure that this retaining clip is in the proper place and now we can tighten down the nut and with the prop we're gonna tighten it down so that these tabs line up with the flat part of the wa of the nut And then we're going to bend those over so that the nut doesn't come loose. And just like that, the prop is on, the gear lube is filled. So now that our engine oil is changed, we're going to run it for a little bit to allow the oil to circulate and then we can get an accurate reading. So after running it, now we can check the dipstick. We're gonna make sure we're right in the good line, which we are. So everything we've just done is part of the annual maintenance. It's recommended every year or 100 hours of use. It does not have to be done in order for the motor to be safe for the winter, but it is recommended to be done. In order to make this motor safe for the winter, we're gonna spray some storage seal in the cylinders. And what this does is it protects the cylinder walls from rusting over the winter. So to do that, we're gonna remove all four spark plugs. And now with the spark plugs removed, this is a good opportunity for us to inspect them, make sure there's not any excessive carbon buildup or water or anything like that. And these ones look good. So with all four, all four spark plugs removed, we're gonna spray a little bit of storage seal in each cylinder. And now we're going to reinstall our spark plugs. Now we're going to bump the engine over just enough to coat the entire cylinder wall. We're going to grease the fittings. You're gonna find one there, one up here, and one right there. 
And then we're going to disconnect the battery and then this motor is ready for the winter. Another thing we like to do at Brinson Marine for our winterize is we like to check the trailer bearings to make sure those are safe and secure. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna remove this little rubber plug and then we're gonna grease it. We're gonna make sure that plug is back in there tight making a good seal and we're going to do the same for the other side. And now we're going to check the trailer bearings. And to do that we're going to jack the trailer up just enough to get the wheel off the ground and we're going to give it a spin and listen for any rumblings. And we can also shake it side to side and if we hear any rumbling or if it wobbles side to side then that bearing needs to be replaced this one is good and we're going to do the same for the other side so now we're going to trim this up out of the way we're going to disconnect the battery and we're going to put this boat up for, up into storage so this is what we do for a typical winterization at Brinson Marine and if you have any questions you can give us a call at 315-469-4867 and now you can go to our learning center at BrinsonMarine.com and watch some of our other helpful videos. Thanks for watching.